Hello out there, and today I'm going to be doing a massive unboxing, just a, a really, really big unboxing of a lot of cool knives, and most of these are going to be on loan from my buddy, the Lawn Ranger, a really cool guy who I've done some deals with, and I've sent him some stuff before, and he sent me some stuff, but what is in this box today is going to be just a, a ton of really nice things that I've never gotten to try out, but, um, but now I'm going to get to, which is really neat. Uh, also, I do have another like second unboxing that I just did uh, yesterday, and I'll show you what knives those are because they sort of relate to uh, some previous videos and also to one of the knives that's in here. Right, but the knife that I'm going to be using today is another new one. This is the Kershaw Method. So just a lot is uh, on the way on the channel. A lot of knives that we're going to have to talk about in addition to uh, to the reviews that I still have to get to for some uh, some older knives. So really excited about all that, but let's just get into this box and uh, yeah, let's get it open and I'll probably just try to go right down the, right down the middle with it. The method so far has been just a, a really neat knife. Yeah, we've got a lot of packaging. A lot of stuff wrapped up. Excuse me one quick second. I'm going to read the uh, the note. Cool, and I'll actually read this in just a minute. There's nothing really too personal in there, but uh, some cool little notes, especially when we get to one of the items that is in this. I'm going to save this one for last because this is a very special one. <laughs> All right, a ton of baggies. Uh, that's going to make this video fun. All right, so we have a bunch of baggies. They're all Benchmade baggies, but these knives are not all Benchmades. But it's pretty cool that he sent them in these. So let's just go through one at a time and just see what it is. Ah, there we go. Look at that. This knife is one that I have been excited to get my hands on. He told me he was going to send me the 0220. And the reason for my curiosity with this knife, one, it's just a, uh, it's a beautiful knife. It's a big knife. So one that I would probably never buy. But it is uh, the favorite knife of Fun With Knives. And so to be able to uh, to try this out and and sort of see what his obsession is with this knife is just very cool. So... Yeah, thank you. I'll definitely be uh, be using this knife and, and trying it out. And God, I can tell you right off the bat, it feels excellent in the hand. So very neat ZT0220. Nice little uh, pop of color there with that backspacer. So that is one. I'm going to just move that to the top. And I wonder if you knew I was going to do an unboxing because having them all bagged up this way really like makes the mystery great. Oh. And here's another knife that never owned and just always thought of. This is the uh, the Spyderco Yojimbo 2 CPM S30V. Really nice Warncliffe blade. Um, has certainly a tactical feel, but I never held one of these. And geez, that's... <laughs> uh, I wish the smile on my face translated onto... Uh, onto film <laughs> man that is sweet compression lock there's like a little detent so uh, it's pretty smooth though that is nice the g10 is really nice and grippy Awesome. Really pronounced tip on that too. So what a cool one to send. 
All right, so we have that ZT, we have the Ojimbo 2, a couple more. And honestly, guys, I I know I I know that we talked about what all these knives are, but it's very hard for me to remember. All right, cool. So here's another one that I knew was coming. This is the Spyderco PPT, the original. And this is just an awesome design, a really cool knife that I've been interested in for a long time. And yeah, he's got the original one. This one is a classic. It goes for um, goes for a good amount of money on the secondary market. And what it looks like is uh, this one is in beautiful, beautiful condition. So yeah, it looks great. We have G10 sculpted handle scales here, CPM S30V. Beautiful knife. And this actually... Um, yeah, this actually is the uh, the lanyard that I sent him, that Minnesota knife guy made. So, very cool knife here. Got two more. So I'm going to be busy. Oh, man, I forgot he was sending this one. Wow. Spyderco Salsa. All right. Os 8. Really early, like compression lock. It's a neat little knife, a neat piece of history, really, more so than anything else. Just a uh, a great piece of Spyderco history. That's cool. Small, really reminiscent to me of the Meerkat that I had. Um, certainly, like opening and closing is a little bit different, but just the uh, the basics. Yeah, just interesting. Interesting look, interesting like ramp here. Yeah, you can see so many like early aspects of things from Spyderco that have certainly been um, developed and upgraded over time. That is cool. All right, and then finally, trying to remember what this one is. Oh, wow, all right, another cool Spidey. Here's our uh, Positron. And the Positron, I mean, of all these knives, and all these knives are, are really cool in their own right, but I think for me, the one that I've had the most interest in out of all of these is the Positron because uh, so many mixed reviews on this knife, so many uh, different things that people have said about it, and um, I'm not a fan of the orange. I'll, I'll tell you that right off the bat, but... Uh, I just really wanted to uh, to see this knife for myself at some point, you know. Um, it has been discontinued, so just really, yeah, really interested in getting an idea of it for myself and trying to figure out what the problems could have been with this knife and how I might like it because so many people had had so many positive and or negative things to say about it. But, I mean, it is pretty. It's smaller than I expected. It is actually like very small. I was expecting like more height to the blade. So yeah, just sort of interesting, sort of just really interesting with the G10. Um, just the look of it, the thickness of it, you know, the thickness of these scales, the way that the liners are recessed. It just has a, um, I don't know, an odd look and an odd feel not unpleasant just different so yeah i'll definitely be using this one and testing it out the uh the orange one here i believe this is a man i'm trying to remember what website this was exclusive to maybe knife center but um it's s35 vn instead of the s30 v so i think these are available for like 90 bucks now though because they're discontinued and just sitting around so yeah Ooh, hard to disengage that lock that is for sure, but it does flip pretty nicely. So we have the Positron there. But the last thing, and the one that I'm most excited for, i um, going to unbox, because this one is mine to keep. So he sent me a, a very cool knife, a red checkered Tenacious. And this red checkered G10 that you have here is 
the same kind of pattern that is on like the Alcyon and the Polestar, just a really nice, like new kind of G10 that that Spyderco is using. It has a unique look to it, very grippy, nice functioning. But then he also did a copper wash on the blade. So um, in one of my future mod videos, I will actually go in depth with the uh, the approach that he took to this. And this actually looks incredible. I've got to tell you guys, I saw a couple pictures of this knife that he sent me. And when you photograph it, the copper wash, um, it just always seems sort of blotchy. And looking at it in person, I'm trying to like peek over the camera. This thing looks so cool. And I sort of avoid trying copper washing because I, you know, I saw pictures of it and it just didn't strike me that much as something that was that great. But I don't know the way that this looks. And um, I mean, certainly, uh, certainly from what he's told me, um, there is opportunity to get it better. But man, this looks really nice. Just has a very cool, like worn look and and it pairs really well with that G10. So what an awesome gift. What an awesome gift to give me. Um, you know, a really nice, really nice design. But, you know, a, a special modification on it as well. And so, yeah, so I'm just going to read this actually. Um, hopefully he doesn't mind. So this says, Yo JT, hope you enjoy testing these knives. Feel free to use them as they are all users. The Tenacious was only my second attempt at a copper wash. What I would say for two attempts is that that's pretty awesome. So great job. I got a little crazy with the nail polish on the back in one spot. My bad. I hope you can still find its place in your collection. Thank you for everything you do for the knife community. Well, um, thank you, dude. Thank you. Um, I don't really do much but make videos and, and try to be as friendly as possible. But this, uh, this is what you did here is great. So... So yeah, much appreciated. Very, very cool that you sent this. And yeah, this will 100% find a spot in my collection. This will be in the display case. So really neat there. Now I do have two more knives that, that I unboxed yesterday that I thought you guys might be interested in um, for different reasons. And the first one is sort of going to be a follow-up to uh, previous videos. Because what we have right here is the CRKT Windage. And the Windage is a, a Ruger collaboration. So it's a CRKT design um, under the Ruger name. And uh, this is a Ken Onion design. And the reason why this knife is relevant is that this is the knife that is replacing the prowess. The prowess that I had those lockup issues with. Um, I sent the second one back in. And another really quick turnaround time from CRKT. I chose something that was the exact same price as the Prowess online and went with the Windage. And so I will have a video about this coming in the future. This is really a knife that is not the kind of knife that I would buy. I love the design. I love the lines of it. The clip is something that I have experience with because of the swindle. But just the size of this knife usually would be something I'd stay away from. But because it's Ken Onion and because I had that credit, I figured... Yeah, I mean, the fact that they were the same price, the Windage and the Prowess, it just seemed to me to be the right thing to do. And so I will be um, using this knife, testing it out, and, and doing a review and a follow-up on that whole process. So there is that. And then the other thing that I unboxed yesterday, which directs, uh, directly ties into to this unboxing, is that there is another Spyderco PPT, a sprint run. And so the Lawn Ranger, and this just really worked out in timing. I wasn't expecting this, but uh, the Lawn Ranger sent me this knife in the G10 and S30V, and then the the Sprint Run here in carbon fiber and S90V got released, um, you know, at almost the same time. And so I got this just yesterday, and so I will be doing a first look video about this and sort of comparing them. And just right off the bat, guys, these knives are really pretty much identical. Uh, in terms of look, you know, a lot of times with like sprint runs and and like newer editions, there's a few little tweaks, but I don't see anything yet just from what I unboxed. So uh, we'll go through it, though. And so that is something that will be coming soon. 
So, uh, yeah, really excited definitely for, for this one. But uh, the original is one that is pretty hard to get your hands on. So one in this condition, just uh, it's going to be a, a real privilege to be able to use. So I'll bring all of these knives back out real quickly just to, uh, to close the video. And that's ZT. Fun with knives. If you're watching this, bud, I'll let you know what I think. All right, but those are all the loners, and then, yeah, definitely this Tenacious. One last look at that in the copper wash. Very cool. So, if you have any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, guys, let me know down below. Uh, for an unboxing video, this is way longer than I expected it to be, but, uh, but yeah, definitely there was a lot to talk about. If you do have experience with any of these knives, let me know and tell me which ones, uh, which ones you really like. Which one do you think I'll like the most? All right. But I will talk with you soon. Thanks very much for watching and take care. Have a good one.